process of putting our home back together slowly and methodically. We had very limited funds to do it. The damage was much greater than we had realized. And um, we, were, we were making headway on it when the earthquake in Haiti hit. So we, we really focused on doing relief flights there. And the priority of fixing our home became secondary. Thank you for your patience. The Hurston family is a really amazing family because they do so much for the world community. They work a lot for Haiti and um, take a lot of water purifiers down there. And they're literally saving lives. Their home was so dilapidated. They had water damage and it was very poor living conditions. And their energy was so towards helping others that they didn't spend the time or money to do it for themselves. So we felt like if we stepped in and helped them, took that burden off their shoulders, that they would then be able to continue their work uh, in the world community. One of our first goals was to build a net zero energy home for the Hurstons. And when we started this, we really wanted to do that on a national platform. One, to educate people that it is, um, it is time. The, the technology has advanced enough. It is affordable. There is an appropriate payback. And it is the right thing to do for the consumer and for the builder. A net zero energy home is a home which basically produces as much as it pulls in and uses. So a zero net energy home means that you're, you're not using any more than what you're producing from your home. To offset the, uh, the energy consumption for a 3,400 square foot living home and a family of five, that's a huge investment of, uh, of solar panels. And contacted Siemens, and I gotta tell you, they, they answered the bell quickly. Through the use of the microversion technology offered by Siemens, we were able to put together a 9.6 kilowatt system, and not only getting from net zero, but to negative. The microinverter system, it takes the power from each individual solar module, converts that DC power right at the module to AC 12240 volts, and then sends that down a branch circuit into the electrical panel. It has a system that is on three different roof elevations, and it's split between where the sun is optimum in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. It's also easy for the homeowner to actually monitor the performance of each individual solar module. On your particular web page for your home, it'll show you which modules are getting less performance and which are maybe in better performance. Even though we have a net zero energy home, um, we still try to conserve energy so that we can give back to the grid and stay efficient. If it's going right to left, like going back, it's going back to those power lines out there. We have generated 3.34 million watts of electricity and put that back into the grid since January the 13th of this year. In our former home, the power bill was you know, $300, $400 a month. On average, per month, our savings so far, even with the cloudy days, has been about $250 a month. And that savings is with a huge house with a thousand more square feet than our last home. We have no restrictions at all in dryers, dishwashers, computers, TVs. We also have solar heat, which means that we're not consuming a lot of electricity with heating the water. So this has been no restriction whatsoever. We're changing the way people can do their solar applications. We're helping builders enable. It's a scalable, small system that can be grown from one panel all the way up to 40 panels. The estimate is by about the year 2016 or 2017, we're gonna have something what they call grid parity. And what that's gonna be is that it's gonna make as much sense to purchase a solar electrical system as it is to be hooked up to the power grid and buy power from the power company. Uh, I'll put my fingers. The gift of the Net Zero Home to us is filled us with love, it really has, because it was a gift and it was a blessing. Every dollar that we save on power is going to save someone's life down the road.